Hey guys, welcome to probably the last video of this year. Um, and in this video, we're just going to talk about our year, how um, 2022 was, and what we're thankful for, and maybe some of the lessons that we learned in this year. Can we talk about our memories? Every, anything, yeah. Just okay. I enjoyed the um, trip to Philadelphia, I believe, mm, yeah, yeah. where we visited the church, and then um, you church? guys danced. There are several name. churches. Okay. It was the um, Liberian Independence Day. Mm. Yeah, that time. And you guys did the Tato dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I feel like that trip brought us closer. Like, I connected with the you guys and the dancers mm -hmm. and everybody. Oh, my God. Isn't that the same trip where we... Oh, you know, I never posted a video with the... Oh, oh the we should cake. put it in here with the cake. The cake. Yeah, I'm going to edit it and put it in here. So, yeah, that trip was really nice because we really got to connect. Uh, that's so true. We rented a hotel, and we all stayed in one room. There were, like, two beds, and then we brought a sleeping bed or something like that. Yeah, we brought a sleeping bed, and there were two beds in the room. Let me add something. <laughs> I really got to know Maria that time. <laughs> she tried to... So, I have a severe cake allergy, and she... <laughs> no, she doesn't. I just, <laughs> I just don't like... I don't like sweets and cakes and all that stuff. Yeah. She... She literally became John Cena, pinned my shoulders onto the bed. I was screaming, and she, <laughs> she tried to, like, she grabbed the cake like this and tried to make me eat it. Yeah. Yeah, because we all ate some. And this cake, guys, this cake, it was delicious, though. It was really good. She messed up. Yeah, I did. But <laughs> we found the cake in the trash. No, that's not what happened. Oh, okay. That's what you told them. Oh, okay. Some random people gave it to us. Yeah, you took it. Some, well, they're not random. My spirit connected with them. Uh uh. <laughs> How can you say, uh uh, it's my spirit? When she took the cake, I was like, what is she doing? Yeah. Oh, it's poisonous. It's not, it wasn't poisonous. So it was a little kid's birthday, and I think they were in Philadelphia for that, and they had a birthday party, and she was. They're going back to the hotel room and they had this cake. And I was just like, oh, it's a birthday, it's a birthday cake. I was like, I love cake. I think that's what I said. And then they're like, do you guys want it? I was like, yeah. Because there was a whole bunch of us at the hotel, and like, we're all just eating cake. And so I was just like, you know, we're going to church tomorrow if you guys want to come. And they're like, oh, we're going to another church or whatever. And so we're like, okay. So I was just like, okay, we'll take the cake. So we took the cake. And then we made up a story and told the other girls that we found the cake in mm -mm. near the elevator. You told us. <laughs> I made up a story and told them I found the cake. I documented the whole thing. She did. So I'm going to put it in this video. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good trip. I yeah. think it was like three days or something. Mm -hmm. They had a swimming pool. Yes. We went out to eat. It was really nice. Yeah. Well, you guys came to my house. And we like did the videos, the, oh, yeah. the skits. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun and We went too. to the Bible Museum. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was nice. The Bible Museum was cool. Yeah. I want to go back there again, but then this time maybe get to see the entire thing. Because mm -hmm. we only probably saw half of it. Maybe not even. That's nice. Um, what else? Yeah. It's great. Um, I think for me, one highlight was, um, I think every time I spend time with, like, the youth with you guys, I was, it's always, an, an, it's always an highlight. Can't say that. <laughs> the phrase. It's always, an, it's always, time. yes. It's always a good time. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a good time. Maybe I'll say it's, it's always memorable. Yes. Yes. That's probably the word. <laughs> um, but probably a highlight for me was starting school this year and then ending school this year. So I started cosmetology school and then I finished the program. And just working in the field is definitely a highlight and I love it. And I did her hair today. Oh, okay. I put it in a little bunny. You saw Just, that? We have to like, oh, oh you okay. did? Oh, she did. But you have to like, go like that. Good. Yes. So, just doing that. I really like it. That's good. She tipped me too. I gave her two cents. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, so I don't feel like I go to work. I just feel like I go hang out. Like I was telling her with some friends and then I come home. You're senior in high school. Mm -hmm. That's big. Mm -hmm. What about college? 
Like um, letters and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Receiving a scholarship. That was cool. I remember Marty sent me a little uh, like a voice note congratulating me. I almost cried. Oh, <laughs> I was so happy for her. Cause she's smart. She is. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, she is. She's really smart and like just hardworking. And so when she told me she got like scholarship and acceptance from not just one school and not like, you know, like a couple of schools with a good amount of scholarships. So I was just so happy for her. And so, oh, she almost cried. Yeah, that's what happens when you're proud of people. I think I'm <laughs> very proud of you. I'm proud of all of you guys. Big achievements, little achievements. Everything. For me, this is hard because, like, I find something in every day. Yeah. That's memorable. And I can remember it all 365 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But let's talk about spiritual highlights. Where were some areas in your life where you felt God or you, like, connected with God or you maybe heard him direct you or speak to you or just you know brought you some sense of direction hopefully i'm speaking loud enough that we can hear this <laughs> video but hmm. where did you see maybe that? just like my whole future thing like not knowing what to do um yeah i feel like like he shows me um like what he put me on earth to do like recently I've got into music and writing and just pursuing that mm -hmm. so I feel like that's a path that he's leading me to also just being like a influencer and preaching the bible as well um what else I feel like just growing me in those areas nice. mainly yes and as I continue to grow more things will be revealed yeah yeah amen so she has her her instagram page um she puts like scriptures on there every morning is there, do you put it in the morning or in the night I, oh i know i go there <laughs> in the day and i see it i put them in the morning okay so she's an early bird <laughs> so she puts them in the morning and it's very inspiring uplifting so sometimes i know we rush and we go on with our day but for me like whether it's lunch time or whenever i get to go on my phone and i see him i can just pause read the scriptures so it's pretty cool um yeah um a place i saw god this year um there's this song there's this song called grace maybe it's called grace is working for me but it's grace i don't even know who sings it but that song, man, has really spoken to me this year because I just feel like I could have been in a much closer relationship with God this year. And I wasn't just because of all the things that I got involved in and just like my schedule just being so tight. I just felt like I didn't make time for God. And there's just some days when I sat and said, like, God, why are you just so good to me? Why are you, you know, just, you know, allowing good things to happen and why are you allowing doors to open when i'm not even spending time with you like i should why am i in school and everything just fall into place like you know this is where you want me to be and it was just like i'm not doing it for you you know it's my grace it's because this is the path of your you know your life and this is the journey that i want you to be on in the time that i want you to be on it so that grace was just there to make it easy and it was just like oh, it's overwhelming it was great just imagine like feeling like you're not gonna um graduate because financially it doesn't cover all of your school and then like someone just writing your check and then you have that money or just you know just trusting him for your bills to be paid and then you know someone comes you know through right when you need it just those moments and then god just just allow my work to prosper the things that i love to do to just be great it's like why god and just like oh you might cry no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just making sure. Oh, I'm not, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm just. I'm feel. I'm really oh, no, feeling it's okay. it. I'm crying. I'm just making sure. Okay. <laughs> I gotta prepare myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What? Okay. <laughs> but no. But no. I'm not crying. But yeah, just like moments like that, and just like trusting and just believing God and Him, 
just coming through right now. It's like, it's not my work. It's grace. And the song says, grace is working for me. It's working and it's working and it's working. Your grace is working for me. And that's just what I experienced in this year. So that was my 2022 song. Yeah. Should I pick a 2022 song? Yeah. Jaira. Um, maybe the Clark Sisters. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, though. <laughs> Say it better so I can have that reaction, please. The Clark Sisters. I sound like Siri. The Clark Sisters. Um, that one song. Which one? Um, what was it called? I think it's Speak Lord by Karen, no, no, by Twinkie Clark, but Karen um, Clark sang it. Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Did you see me in that music video? I was there. No, no you weren't. Scripture of the year? Mm. I don't think I have one either. Yeah, I don't know if I have one. Well, let me think. But I don't think we have time for me to think. So we can just skip that. <laughs> we can just skip that. <laughs> we'll just skip that. <laughs> right. I guess we can just say our goals for next year. Okay. My goal for next year, my my goal for next year is of course always to get closer to God. Um, but I also want to go back to school. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna work both my jobs still and go to school. So maybe get married in the process. I don't know. Grace, Grace is working for me. Um, my goals, my goals would be to move into Marty's house and this girl's <laughs> in her room. I don't know. My goal is to just continue to live in the present and to not stress. Yeah. Yeah. And start school, college. Mm -hmm. Use them scholarship monies. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, she's a very smart kid. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And um, all the best, 2022, 23, 2023 be great many blessings to you happy new year i'm not going to see you until 2023 mm -hmm. so i'm giving you a new year's hug on camera queen you better hug me i am this, this is, is not a hug I, it's a hug this is i'm hugging you <laughs> you're petting me i'm this is a hug you're petting me like an animal how okay how, <laughs> like, hug a person all right uh, we're hugging <laughs> so uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I I love a good hug. People who cannot let me let me just make a different video. I'm just making a different video right now. People who cannot hug. The number one person who cannot hug is my little sister. Love her. Who is who's that? My sister. Jane Malik's mom. Oh. She cannot hug. My sister cannot hug. The hugs are the handshake person. Next person who can I hug? I don't want your handshake. Quee. Quee can not hug. Yeah. Which is a bad thing. At least fifth. You nice. you're second place. That's bad. And and then it's just the two of you. No one else. <laughs> I, I love the hug. I love to I love oh, okay. the hug. I'm two out of two. No. So that's 50%. Let's okay. think of someone else. A couple of other people who I'm not going to talk about in here. But a good hug, man. Just... Even, even, when, even when I'm funky, I still like to get a good hug. And I smell good today. And she still... She gives a pet. But it's I okay. Grow up on hugs. Yeah, me neither. Uh, <laughs> well, I have no excuse. <laughs> exactly. You just learn to hug. You just hug a person. You just hug a human and just like but anyways thanks for watching this video happy 2023 2023 2023 that's our language for you 2023 and 
Happy New Year. Hey, a party in my head. Ooh, how are we going to birthday cake? Hey. No. Randomly took the cake. Oh, no, 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 no,